Hey, my name is Neil and I have a seven figure digital agency and a online coaching program that's helped hundreds of businesses get more clients online. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10. Yes, that's right. 10 different strategies to getting more clients in 2023. Along the way, I'll also be sharing with you these little hacks that are going to supercharge these strategies. But before we do that, make sure to follow me on Instagram, because that is where I drop all of this business knowledge first and interact with you guys. So with that, let's jump into this video. All right. So the first client strategy that you need to start employing in 2023. If you haven't already, it's probably going to be the best bang for buck for you. I'm talking like three to 10 X ROAS or ROI. I'm obviously talking about remarketing and remarketing ads in specific. We all know the old saying that prospects need seven to nine different touch points with your brand before they decide to buy something from you. And what remarketing ads allow you to do is get those touch points in a very cheap and effective way. Remarketing ads are by far and most the best way to bring back prospects into your sales pipeline and uh, pick up on those leads that have maybe dropped off. And right now, remarketing ads are pretty great because they're kind of cost effective on platforms like Facebook ads and Google ads because you are going after such a small audience and you know that the audience that you are going after is going to be highly targeted and highly intent based. So they're pretty great. So if your business already doesn't have remarketing ads, I highly recommend that you set those up. And the best part is these can be set it and forget it campaigns. All right. While we are on the topic of ads, let's talk about the king daddy of them all Facebook ads. And I have to tell you that in 2023, yes, Facebook ads are still working. In fact, they're working better than ever. See, something weird has happened where business owners have gotten tired of overcomplicated and over salesy funnels. So simple has started to convert a lot better when it comes to client generation. So here's exactly how you win with Facebook ads in 2023 for B2B lady gen. You're going to start off by making ads that are super simple. You're really going to focus on the solutions that your product or service is solving for all the other business owners. And then you're going to make it super easy for for other prospects to contact you and try out your offer. It really is that simple and you don't need to overcomplicate it. However, if you do have a super long sales cycle or maybe you're going after small to medium sized businesses, it might be worthwhile for you to test out LinkedIn ads. Now, I will say that LinkedIn ads are very expensive. In fact, I probably would say they have some of the highest CPMs that we've seen across all of the different ad platforms. And this kind of has to do with the fact that only professionals really use the platform. So you are paying a little bit of that premium to target businesses. The good news is LinkedIn has gotten a lot better over the last few years. The targeting has matured quite a bit and targeting B2B companies is an absolute breeze on LinkedIn now. LinkedIn is the only ad platform out there that lets you target businesses based on employee sizes and sometimes even revenue. So even if you aren't thinking that uh, cold LinkedIn ads might be for you, I highly recommend that you set up some remarketing LinkedIn ads for your businesses. All right, from talking about LinkedIn ads and Facebook ads, let's jump ship into YouTube ads, which are really my bread and butter because I've spent so much money on the platform and I have to say that it is definitely my favorite. And the reason for that is because long form video, which is what YouTube ads really are, allow you to establish trust and authority very, very quickly. And if you couple that with the fact that YouTube ads allow you to scale almost instantly, it is a great platform to find leads at. With YouTube ads, finding your ideal customer is very easy. In fact, you can literally go and steal your competitor's traffic by putting uh, your ads in front of their channels or their websites. That's pretty cool. And like I mentioned that scaling on YouTube is also very, very easy. You can literally take campaigns that are spending a couple hundred dollars a day and then scale them to a couple thousand with just a big click of a button and not really see a drop in performance. Now, if you do want to take a deeper look into YouTube ads, I have actually included my free 2023 YouTube ads course down in the description below. Please watch that after this video. All right, so let's switch up gears for a second. We've talked a lot about paid advertising, but let's now talk about organic because paid advertising shouldn't be the only way that you're generating clients and getting leads for your B2B offers. I truly believe that in 2023, the cornerstone for your organic strategy should be revolved around YouTube organic. And I don't really mean turning into a YouTube influencer here. See, in 2023, the best platform to do inbound marketing has to be YouTube. And if you set it up like I'm about to show you right now, you can actually leverage all of the rest of the strategies that I'm going to share with you in this video and basically get a ton of exposure and a ton of leads in without a lot of work. So here's exactly why YouTube is so different than every other social media platform when it comes to organic. The first reason being that it's the second biggest search engine out there. That means businesses are actively coming on YouTube to look up solutions to their problems. They're actually going on there to search for solutions. So if you can show up right in front when they're searching for these problems 
to be solved, you can get some easy wins. Second, long form content is actually the bread and butter of YouTube. That means prospects can look up your videos and instantly start building trust and building relationships with your brand even before they have the initial contact with you when they're deciding to buy something. Now, I do have to say that you don't need a ton of high quality equipment or high quality videos to really get some traction on YouTube. In fact, there's tons of videos out there that are just plain screen share videos that are getting millions of views every single month and bringing in lots of B2B clients. So here's the hack to actually doing well with YouTube in 2023. You're gonna wanna make videos on the most commonly asked questions by your prospects and put them up on YouTube. And the other thing that you're gonna do is actually deliver tangible value. That's pretty much it. If you can do those two things very effectively, you will see clients coming in. Now, once you've built a solid foundation with YouTube long form content, with that being the primary place that you spend most of your time and effort, you're then gonna be focusing on these next few areas. And the best part is you really don't have to reinvent the wheel here when it comes to your content strategy. So all you're gonna do is take all of your long form YouTube content and repurpose it elsewhere on all of the other platforms. Whether it's by taking all of your YouTube videos and cutting them up and turning them into short clips for Instagram reels or TikToks, or you can take the best performing videos and turn them into written articles that can be turned into tweet threads or LinkedIn thought leader posts. And this is really the beauty of using this sort of strategy in 2023, where you can kind of leverage all of these different algorithms on all these different platforms. And you can almost outsource this work to either another agency or have a VA do it. But you're able to leverage all of these different platforms without having to come up with unique content for each one of them, saving you a ton of time. All right, in the same breath, next up, you can take all of the same YouTube content that you've put out and repurpose all of them into written content and put that on your blog for SEO purposes. This is also a great way for you to build a giant FAQ repository, come out with guides and training modules, all that live on your website and all that will be picked up by Google to rank. And this is exactly what I do with our agency channel, Links Digital, where I put out a ton of long form content on YouTube. And then I have somebody from my team actually turn those videos into blog posts that live on our blog at linksdigital.com, which now gets a ton of visitors organically through Google SEO. For extra added SEO benefit, you can actually take those YouTube videos and embed them into your blog articles to help you rank higher. Now, I recommend that you actually don't take those videos and transcribe them word for word and turn them into a blog. Instead, have a VA or somebody on your team take all of the information from those videos and reformat it for SEO purposes. And if you're really clever about it, you can probably use one of the new AI tools that have just come out in 2023 to really save some time. And if you didn't think that was good enough, what you can really do to add some weight to your content flywheel is to start leveraging JVs and referral programs. And by this, I mean teaming up with other B2B service providers that are adjacent to your business. And the easiest way that you can do this is by creating content together, which will really allow you to do two things. One, you can actually leverage each other's audiences to help yourselves grow. And then two, this also makes making content very easy because now you have a whole new idea stream to get unique content out there. And to incentivize other businesses, businesses to actually team up with you and produce content with you, you're probably going to need to set up some sort of affiliate partnership where you're going to send out affiliate commissions for every new client that the other person sends to you from their audience and vice versa. All right, let's switch gears for just a second and go from talking about inbound marketing to outbound marketing. Now, I know what some of you might be saying, outbound marketing in 2023, Neil, isn't that dead? Well, there might be some truth to that statement. There definitely is a lot of meat left on the bone, especially if you're creative about it. Completely cold outbound prospecting might be a little bit difficult to do depending on what niche you're in. However, even if you decide to jump into this head first, what I recommend is changing up your approach. So if everybody in your industry is sending the same canned opener DMs, what you're going to want to do is differentiate yourself and maybe start sending voice memos or videos to your prospects instead. Whatever you do, it's up to you. But the point here is that you can't be doing the same thing everybody else is doing. Otherwise, your messages are going to get ignored like everybody else's. However, a quick hack for outbound prospecting is to actually do a little bit of warm outbound prospecting. With all of the different content that you will be putting out on all the different platforms like I just showed you, you're definitely going to start building an audience and having businesses come to you. And it's a lot easier to set up conversations and outbound prospecting conversations with those people that are already exposed to your business and have built a level of trust. In 2023, this approach is definitely going to be the 
most effective when it comes to outbound prospecting. And finally, the 10th client B2B lead gen strategy that I have for you guys is going to be cold email. What? Cold email 2023? That's right. Cold email is not dead. We use it a ton at our company and it works just fine. However, the sentiment is kind of similar to outbound prospecting and you're actually going to have to do these two key things to really ensure that you're getting success with your cold emails. Firstly, you are also going to have to stand out with your messaging in your cold emails. So take everything that I said about the cold prospecting, apply it here. Make sure that your messages are standing out and they're not looking like every single other cold email out there. The second key to cold emailing in 2023 is to actually do the homework up front and better qualify your prospects even before you send your first few emails. In 2023, the name of the game with cold email is definitely quality over quantity. This means you don't just blindly buy lists or blanket scrape LinkedIn. And if you are doing that, make sure that you have a VA or an SDR actually qualify the entire prospecting list and make sure that the people that you are reaching out to are going to be actual qualified prospects. And then the next step after that is going to be tailoring your messaging to these specific lists and these people. And I promise you with this super specialized approach that you will see a lot more success with cold email in 2023. And that's it. Those are my 10 strategies for B2B companies to start using in 2023. Do me a huge favor. This channel is brand new. Subscribe to it. It helps me get going and helps get this content out to people that might find it useful. I'll see you guys in the next one.